Hey everybody, it's Jared, how are you? Uh, today I just want to do a real quick lesson on YouTube. How to embed a YouTube video in a WordPress post. And it is very, very simple. Um, and so what we're going to do, to start out, what I want to do is talk to you real quick about the difference between the visual and the HTML editor in WordPress. Because it will be something important to understand when we're going to embed a YouTube video. So whenever you go uh, and, and, and are getting ready to write a new post, you're going to see up here in the top right-hand corner of the text area a tab that says Visual and a tab that says HTML. And essentially, when you toggle back and forth between these tabs, what you're doing is toggling between a What You See Is What You Get editor and an actual HTML editor. Okay? Now, what does that mean? Well, let's toggle over to the Visual Editor real quick, and I'm going to type something. So here I am typing something. Okay, so we see the text. Now let's add a link to it. And we'll link off this word something, and we will link to something.com. And now what we have here is we have text, and now the anchor text of our link we can see in blue, right? Again, this is what you see is what you get. Now if we toggle over to HTML, you're going to see that it looks different. And we can actually see the HTML that defines that link. Okay, so that's the difference between visual and HTML. And, you know, every WordPress edit post page very conveniently gives you the ability to do it either in visual or to, to get granular with your HTML, okay? So, how does that impact a YouTube video? Well, let's go out to YouTube, okay? And the video that I've chosen for us to embed today is the new song by Rick Astley, which is called Lights Out. Um, why did I choose Rick Astley? Because he's the man. Um, and if you have a problem with that, you may want to go to another website. Um, but whenever we go to a YouTube video, let me refresh this page real quick so it looks like it does when we first go there. You're gonna see, oops, <laughs> you're gonna see a button down here that says embed. So if you click on this, then you'll see this code come up, okay? So it's gonna automatically be highlighted. Just do your command C or whatever you do to copy code. And now when you come back to your WordPress edit post page, if you're in the visual editor, what you need to do is toggle over to the HTML editor find out where you want to copy paste this and then do command V or edit paste whatever you do and now your code is in there if you toggle back over the visual editor you're gonna see this nice bright yellow box which signifies there's a YouTube video that's supposed to go here okay now if we do it the other way if we copy this on the visual side now we're in a visual what you see is what you get editor and guess what what we see is what we get this code is here if we toggle over to the HTML editor and then go back, obviously this isn't what we want, right? We want to see that big yellow box signifying that there is a YouTube video. So we do that. Let's save our draft. And I'll show you what this will look like. It'll look right like this. So here I am typing something. The video is right there. Okay? So now the other option that you have when you're over here on YouTube is you can actually do different sizes, okay? Because this size works perfectly because, and this is my site, Midwest Sports Fans, because the width here of this edit text area is about 675, okay? And we can look right here where it says object width. That defines the width and, and the height, obviously. So this is 640, so we know that it'll fit in there, okay? But what if we were to do that same size video on a site like howtoblog.tv where there's a much more narrow narrow post area. Well, look, now it overlaps, it overflows, and that obviously doesn't look good. So if we go back over here to YouTube, we can actually define smaller proportions, right? So let's try this 560 by 340, and we'll go over here and we'll edit this post on howtoblog.tv real quick. So you see, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to copy this in the HTML editor, I will save it, and let's take a look and see if this is any better. So again, this is what it looked like before, right? Overflowing all the way off the side. This is what it looks like now. Perfect. It's right there in the middle, okay? So, and that's obviously how we want it to look. We don't want it overflowing on the side. So again, just a quick review, you know, when you're at YouTube, you go here and you copy the embed code from right here, and then just make sure in your edit post section that you're toggled over to the HTML editor, Paste that in wherever you want it. Click over to Visual just to make sure you see the yellow box. Save your draft or publish, whatever you want to do. And then right there in the middle of your post, you have a nice, relevant YouTube video, which is going to make your content more dynamic. 